really wanted to do something different with the beer production process. And so part of this, this project was thinking a bit differently about how we might brew the beer or how we might get the beer to people that are drinking it and how we might talk about the beer. In, in the case of this, we landed on playing with our raw ingredients and how to get those uh, as locally sourced as possible in the uh, least energy intensive way. Our malt mostly is grown down in Klamath Falls in Oregon. We also added a large portion of wheat and that wheat came from Christian and Brandy's uh, family's place up on San Juan Island. It's a San Juan Island grown uh, red winter wheat. The yeast is being donated by Imperial Organic Yeast. It will be delivered by bicycle um, by Owen, the owner, who just, we happen to be halfway between his house and his work. So the hops came from Crosby Farm. Uh, fresh hops require no kilning. They go from being picked to being put into the brewing process, in our case, the Whirlpool and the hop back. We were gonna ride to the hop farm, pick up the hops, ride back, all be very cheery, happy. Yay, we did it. Picking up hops by bike is a really easy way to ditch approximately five gallons of gasoline that it would take to have a box truck go out and pick up our Amarillo hops to go in this beer and drive it back. Best of intentions came through the fact that we got halfway there after four hours of riding and it just wasn't gonna happen. As we were kind of coming down one of these roads that didn't have a bike lane and we got to the bottom and the 16 people stopped and we said, we still have a ways to go. Uh, it seems to be a bit dangerous. What are we gonna do? What we ended up doing is we took advantage of people who were already out there and needed to come back into town uh, to this neighborhood anyways and basically carpooled the hops back. We had this really great idea for putting um, the, all the ingredients on a bicycle and all the beer on a bicycle and only transporting by bicycle and uh, only using the ingredients that had the lowest uh, impact possible. And what we found out was um, that's incredibly challenging. Sustainability, if it was easy, we'd already be doing it. You know, so it definitely takes a lot of new ideas and new thinking and, and you're going to have wins and you're going to have losses, you know, as long as you're getting that you know, uh, uh, four steps forward and three steps back, as long as progress is being made, I think that's really where we're going for. It's been really fun seeing a fly on the wall in this, you know, and even coming in late, and knowing that we're going to kind of carry this next year, I'm already thinking, and I, you know, I, I have the next year to think about it, which I'm really excited about, because it's, you plant the seed and you just let it, let it grow and, and see where it goes. I hope this is just one slice in that bigger story of how we might brew beer differently, um, but also how, um, how we might think differently about some of the environmental challenges that are facing our, our state.